Hello kids, welcome to Alpha Geeks. Let's continue with our next topic that is adaptation for protection. In the wild, animals eat other animals to survive. These predators are always on the hunt for their next meal. Their prey, however, don't just sit around waiting to be eaten. Instead, these animals have developed defense mechanisms to protect themselves from predators and also competitors. Animals either have to compete with the same species or they have to compete with other species. Defense mechanisms are things that these prey animals do to gain advantage against their enemies. And let's find out some of the ways in which they defend themselves. Most animals have sharp sense of hearing, sight and smell. If they sense danger, they quickly run away. Here you can see the deer running away from the tiger and zebras running away from the cheetah. Animals can use speed as a very effective means of escaping predators. Here we can see animals also escape from the predators by flying. When the fish sense danger, they swim away. These are some of the mechanisms that they use to run away from the predators or escape from the predators. Next, we have animals like elephant, bear, hippopotamus and whale, which are huge. Their body size scares away most of their enemies. Next, we have mimicry. Mimicry refers to the act performed by organisms to resemble other organisms or inanimate objects to gain advantage in their surroundings. Here we can see this owl butterfly has dark owl eyes in their wings that are used to ward off predators by confusing them. Animals and small birds hesitate or flee away when they think it's a face of a potential predator allowing the butterfly to escape. Here we can see a praying mantis which is imitating a small twig on a branch of a plant. Here we have a gecko mimicking a brown leaf on a tree branch. An insect which resembles a leaf. Some animals can trick predators by looking, smelling or acting like a different animal that is either dangerous or poisonous using mimicry. Here we can see two butterflies which look very similar. One is real and one is fake. That is, this is harmless and this is dangerous. It has got poison. If any animal eats this, it is poisonous for them. Next, here we can see a hawk moth caterpillar which mimics a snake. Snake is a dangerous animal. Here we have the overfly which is harmless but mimics a dangerous insect like a wasp. Here, the scarlet king snake uses mimicry to do predators such as red tailed hawks which will attack the, which will avoid attacking this scarlet king snake thinking it's a coral snake because coral snakes are poisonous here we have the mimic octopus which can shift its shape movements and color to impersonate toxic lionfish then the flatfish and even the sneeze snakes such mimicry allows it to swim in the open with relatively little fear of predators Another important defense mechanism used by many animals is camouflage. Camouflage is nothing but the trick of blending with their surroundings. A chameleon can change its body color according to its surroundings. A stick insect looks almost like a twig. A grasshopper is difficult to be noticed if it is sitting on a green leaf. A parrot also gets hidden in the leaves of the tree because of its green color. The color, shape and the markings of some animals make it difficult to be noticed in their surroundings. Here, the vertical stripes of the tiger helps break up the shape and size so it blends in with the trees and tall grass. These stripes help it to camouflage with filtered sunlight and the shadow of trees so that it can not be easily spotted by its prey. 
Here, the herd of zebras can become a dazzling display of black and white stripes, making it more difficult for a lion to see where one zebra ends and another begins. Here, the bear's white coat provides a camouflage in surrounding snow and ice. This is where they hunt for seals for food. Their white fur helps the polar bear sneak up on the seals that they're lying on the ice. Its fur helps the polar bear hide from the hunters looking for their hide to make rugs or blankets. Many animals find safety in numbers by living in large groups. The bison live in herds. Tuna and many other fish species form large schools. Geese and other birds form flocks as they migrate from one place to another when the season changes and the herd of deer. An animal in a group also has a smaller chance of being the unlucky individual picked out by a predator. A group of animals fleeing, fr fleeing from a predator can create confusion. This makes it harder for the predator to focus on one animal to catch. The herd of females of elephant species usually travel in a circle with the youngest member on the inside protecting them from predators. Black rhinos use the bigger of the two horns on their noses as weapons in a fight. Buffaloes have powerful horns and can be quite aggressive in defending the young or their herd. Buffalo have been known to charge at lions and even flip them in the air with their horns, sometimes resulting in serious injuries or death. Their defense mechanism here is their horns. Tortoise have shell to protect from predation and other threats. The shell in tortoises is generally hard and they retract their necks and heads directly backward into the shell to protect them. It is the outer skeleton of the snail and its main function is to protect the soft, slimy and muscular body of the snail from extreme weather conditions and predators. Porcupines are large rodents with coats of sharp spines or quills that protect them against predation. Some animals are also poisonous which helps them to protect themselves where the predators avoid them knowing that they might be poisonous when ingested. The cuttlefish escapes from its enemies by ejecting a smoke screen in the form of a cloud of black liquid like ink. Virginia opossum, the cunning marsupial, lapses into a state of tonic immobility and feigns death. This is one of the defense mechanisms so that the predator will think it's useless and will not pursue it. The frogs generally play dead in hopes that the predators may have seen them will lose interest since many predators prefer live food. Frogs may also play dead in hopes that they can be overlooked by predators hunting. Grass snake becomes immobile and leaves its body limp, giving the impression that it is dead. Here, the puffer fish inflates into a ball shape to aid predators. These fish fill their elastic stomachs with huge amounts of water and sometimes air and blow themselves up to several times their normal size. This helps them to look bigger and scarier and scares away its enemies. If you have liked this video, then hit the like button and subscribe. And don't miss to press the bell icon to get new notifications. Thank you.